And we're back with some more RimWorld. And I just did a few little things in the background, like uh, we got in a, a crop of rice, and then immediately after we planted the second crop, it seems Randy decided he didn't like that. So he's he's sort of instantly turned all the rest of them into blight. Though I'm actually kind of okay with that. It could have been worse if you had got the crop before we got it in. That would have been bad. Now we just have to replant them again. So I'm just going to turn them off so they lose power. And then the crops all die out. We don't even have to harvest them. Uh, sugar down here is actually coming on nicely. We've been converting them rather rapidly. Nothing like a little bit of a crisis of belief caused by massive starvation to really help you along on that. Uh, a quest has appeared, and at the same time, Despi has been just grinding up their skill at shooting. Why not? We've got nothing else to really do with them, so they might as well get in a little bit of target practice. The quest is Terror Pods, which is just no. Um, basically, they'd land here, they'd have a smoke spewer, which would affect our accuracy, which is not really the big problem. It's the five mech nodes, one mech high shield, one mech capsule, drop beacon, mech assembler, two mini slugger turrets, and one auto inferno turret. This all sounds just horribly nasty. At the same time, we could use it to, like, stop people, or maybe use it to, to kill a raid, but at the same time, I worry if they ever came after us, we would just straight up die, so I'm not sure I'm willing to risk that. When it comes to these conversion attempts, Slim's actually pretty good. Their social skill is quite high, so we're knocking off about, what, 6% every round? Well, it's actually gone up a little bit, 5-6% to 6 every round, so one to two more attempts and we should have converted them successfully to our religion. Uh, Despy, how are you doing? Now you've grabbed a snack, and maybe grab some rest, and then we're going to get you to do some more sh sh shooting practice. Another fun thing about this shooting training is, since they have a passion in shooting, it's giving them a plus eight mood for enjoying their work, and their work being to fire a smoke launcher, which, well, I kind of like it. All right, you, is it time for you to go to bed? Nope, nope. They're a, they're a, a night shift type person, so once it's 11 o'clock, they got to go beddy buys. One fun thing to note, uh, Sugar's side has a... Uh, well, the religion has some very good things when it comes to food, which makes it very cheap to feed them. Yep, yep. What, what are you dreaming about there, buddy? Told a joke about breakfast cereal. Yeah, I, I wonder what type of cereal you're talking about there. Uh, maybe get that out of there, don't leave it hanging around in the doorway. But that's a handy way to keep them fed, though once we convert them, that might become a bit of a problem. We'll have to start feeding them actual meals. Alright, this should be the final conversion. They're down to, like, only a fraction of a percent. Uh, oh. You know what? Ravenously hungry, eight corpse. Eh, well, that'll expire in a bit. Yeah, we can convert them now and actually start feeding them real food. A fine meal or two might sort them out. Also, maybe a table or something. Yes! A conversion. Okay, now this should actually give us another point as well. Yep, give us another point to our religion so we can reform it later. Perfect! Now, we're going to switch this over to recruitment. This should hopefully take less time. Uh... Thank you for joining our religion. We will now switch your food requirements over to something that's less uh, cannibalistic. Oh, looks like we're definitely stuck with Despy now. Ah, uh, Fat Man Slim tried to attract Despy by making an observation about politics. Seriously? Politics? Despy became aroused and agreed. No, no. Never bring up politics or religion. Never, never. Just. Oh, god damn it. Fine. Uh, we're going to have to get you a double bed. Uh, you're going to have to spend even more of our steel. It's going to take 85 steel to make a double bed. This game is all about getting steel. Just all about the steel. That's 85. I'm, I'm almost tempted to try and put together a a bed out of clear material, like a bedroll, a double bed bedroll, but uh, we don't have the material for it. And I suppose I could chop up a bunch of thrombos, but that seems like a, a little bit of an expensive job. Anyway, let's get these two a bed and hope it's a good one. All right, what do we got? Normal. Ugh. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, the rest effectiveness is just going to be normal then. Uh, we need to make sure their sleeping schedules those sync up. Eh, yeah, we can just move that around a little bit. Just so long as they go to bed at the same time, they can get the, the gut loving bonus. Eh, it should help keep everyone sane out here. Now I just gotta stay on top of getting Sugar recruited as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm basically, like, Slim won't come down here to recruit them until, well, if they're busy researching, they won't do it until they get a break in their thing, so I'm basically manually doing this. I don't think I've ever had to do so much manual labor as I've had to do in this game. Oh, god damn it. It turns out we can't assign them to the same bedroom. <laughs> Religious problem. Ideology forbids it. Oh, come on, Randy. Oh, okay, fine, fine. We're gonna have to convert Despy. That was the next thing we do. Once we've got sugar converted, we're going to have to arrest Despy and then sort of break their religion off them. Uh, we've been slowly sort of grinding them down just by talking to them, but it's not fast enough. Well, once sugar's converted and solidly on our side, which will take a little time. Cargo pods. What do we got? Uh, that is a lot of steel. 
Yes, yes, please. We will take the lot of it. Also, yeah, we'll take the pemmican too. Uh, Despi, it's about time you got outside. Despi has recovered from killing a prisoner earlier. The, a prisoner died and it gave them a minus 15 because of the religion they have. Uh, right now, they're just living with an unsightly environment, an awful bedroom, chemical want, and slept in the cold. Uh, we'll get you. Actually, you know what? Once you've eaten, we'll send you out for that stuff. And we're probably going to give you some psychite tea as well to go with it. Just to keep that chemical meter a little bit high. All right, that's even more cargo pods. At least it's on our way. And uh, what have we got? What the hell are you doing, Randy? Okay, so that's 14 slag chunks. Yes, I will take... I suppose we're completely out of steel. That might be why he's sending them. We're down to six steel since we made that bed. I wonder if you redline your steel supplies. Does Randy just send more... Mm. No, don't, don't start thinking of Randy as benevolent. I figured it out. I know why it's so nice. It's our 100th day anniversary since we arrived on the ice sheet, and, and Randy is just sending us a gift. Uh, basically a whole bunch of visage masks. However, some of these are made of steel. I'm thinking we could just scrap those. The other three we can, uh, I know, sell, though. Where are we going to store them? We, we just, we need someone to come by who wants to buy clothing. That's all we want. Someone to come by and buy the clothes. If they do, we can just, you know, sell them. Oh, prioritize chatting. I don't care if you're sleeping. We need to uh, get on top of that. Well, that's wonderful. We were just about to grab some pemmican over here when we've got a mech cluster landing. Where is it landing? Uh, it is a smoke spewer. We have one pikeman, one lancer, one auto charge turret, another scyther. Oh, God, a mech assembler. Hmm. Mech low shield. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe we can use this for something. Like, that shield could be used. Mm. Ooh, unstable power cell. 400 watts of free power. So long as you don't mind living on top of a bomb with a lot of negative decor. It's fine. We can just wall it. Mm. That would be nice. That would be a super addition. As it is, our power is just too... Annoying is the best I can say. I basically have to keep turning things on and off and we can't get a consistent rice growth out of it. We need about a third wind... We need a third wind turbine. Probably a fourth. See, considering all the steel we have... Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to take care of this. We're going to leave that up there. We're going to worry about that later. We're going to have a third pawn soon, and a third pawn would make a big difference taking on a mess like that. With two pawns and a, and a, a warg, I'm not sure we could take that on right now. So, instead, we'll concentrate on doing what we can. We are going to refine enough steel to make another wind turbine. It's the only way we're going to get enough uh, hydroponics going. I just... Uh, with, it, with the two wind turbines we currently got, I can't keep these growing indefinitely. Um... Though I can't turn on that lamp right now. We're using... This draws about 700 watts. Uh, give it time, though. I think we're going to get enough steel out of this. Kind of curious how much a visage mask is worth. We've got 75 and 30 there, and you got... Three. Three, three steel. Uh, is it even worth scrapping them? You know what? We will. Otherwise, we would have to sell them. I think the moment Slim wakes up, though, it's time for more power. This should hopefully mean we can run our, our light pretty much constantly. Yeah, this is the really slow part of being out in the ice sheet, is getting enough steel to get enough power while still not dying to all the stuff that's going to try and kill you. Mm, I think we might need a fourth one, but three is definitely good, and we now have 25 steel left after that investment. Yeah, we still have a few of these, though, so I think... Yeah, I think we can put down a fourth wind turbine if needs be. Ooh, we just managed to knock another level of certainty off of Despy there. I mean, we're slowly grinding them down, but maybe once Sugar joins the team, it'll be better. Actually, how's Sugar looking? Nope, nope, don't go to sleep. I want you to prioritize Sugar. Actually, there's one trick I want to try here. Now, this is a little bit exploity, but you can't convert some instantly, but it does make it easier. When you start talking to someone, what happens is you're starting to chat, and it drives up your social with them and your opinions of each other. So, trying to get to know occurred five seconds ago, talked about this type of stuff and that type of stuff... And then you prioritize chatting again, but they keep having to chat to them. And every time they chat to them, it drives up their opinion of each other. So give me a minute while I play around with this. All right, I think I've got this down to a fine art. We draft, undraft, prioritize chatting. And if you look here, we're at 48. And now we're at 50. Draft, undraft, prioritize chatting. And now we should be 52 or 53. Draft, undraft, prioritize chatting. And this drives up their liking of each other. So both of them are liking each other more and more. And then the great thing about this is... The more they like you, the more effective your conversion attempts will be, or your recruitment attempts will be. So I think the most we, we've knocked off them so far in a single hit was about one point. Um, actually, about 
But let's see what happens once we max them out at 100 liking. I think there may be a hard limit. We've got up to plus 86, but we can't seem to go beyond that. Hmm. Well, never mind. We've managed to drop their uh, resistance by 1.1 points. Just a nice way to speed things along a little bit. A little bit. Normally I wouldn't be bothered doing that, but we're just so tight on everything. This seems like, well, a good call on this ice sheet. At some point, the mechanoid cluster activated. I don't even know what set it off. It was supposed to be dormant for, or isn't it in 6.9 days? Not going to worry about it too much, but whatever set these off, it's now producing pikemen and stuff. So this is just going to get worse. Prison break. Oh, God damn it. Ah. <sighs> We gotta go beat them down. And the worst thing is, they've already got a permanent injury on their spine. Which is awkward. Uh, Alright everyone, where are you? We're gonna have to get you over here. You will have to... Not fire at will. And we're going to have to open the door. Uh, Despy, you're gonna be taken front and say, Actually, should we send in the warg? Mm, I'm thinking yes. Okay, please don't mess them up too badly. Where are you going? Equipping charge... Ooh, that would be a bad thing. Uh, you can just stay there, and if they try... Oh, 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 hold fire. They try and get by you. Uh, Training-wise, you... Training. Follow Master while drafted. And you set them to attack. Damn it. Well, you want a charge rifle. All you're going to get is a punch in the face. And you... What do you... Melee attack. Okay. Just go down. Please go down. Uh, what's your bio again? Underground or iron weld? Oh. Nose shattered. Oh, come on! Right. So... Hmm. Great, you're now going to be super ugly. Eh, it could be worse. Could be worse. God damn it, Randy. We were so close, too. 8.9 resistance. Ooh, meteorite of silver ore. Where are you? Okay, that is delicious. Uh, not only that, sugar is... West of it. Oh, damn it. All at once. Uh, so, sugar is actually really good at mining, so we're going to be sending them to mine that. Once we convert them, they've still got a bit to go, and once they recover from the absolute beatdown they got, they're unfortunately going to be really slow as well. This uh, if definitely got 76% efficiency in their spine, which reduces their moving to about 3.5, as opposed to the 4.6 they should have. It's awkward. Anyway, quest. Right, so we've got a desperate refugee. Hmm. Begs permission to stay. Well, you know what? We do need a nice mood boost soon. Maybe after we've recruited Sugar, we bring them in. If they're good, we keep them. If they're not, well, a brief execution should be fine. Despy might be a little bit unhappy with that, but they'll probably be in prison at the time, so who cares? Ah, damn it. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Oh, we have a, a festival coming up, that uh, would give us a 50% chance of a random recruit joining if we do it right. Well, one in four, let's say. Um, unfortunately, we've got to deal with a mech raid first. I was holding out on doing that festival until we'd recruited sugar, because sugar would help, you know, what with being our religion and all. But we've got to deal with this first. Mech raid. Everyone's inside. Uh, how many pods? That looks like about seven? Six. Okay, six pods. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Come on. Okay, Lancers, three Lancers, three Pikemen. Hmm. All right. We got to draw them past here, so use the turret. Probably, actually, put a go juice again, maybe? Lancers have decent range, but if we can outrun them, drag them by, get them up to this section here, and if we can get them to there, distract them with the turret, shoot them at range with the rifle, and then have Slim come in and smack them from behind along with Hope. And if we can destroy the three Lancers first and then deal with the three Pikemen after, that would work. Okay, Despy, get a bolty. Slim's on, Despy's on the way out to start causing problems. Oh, uh, we should probably get the animals into position. All right, Despy, your job is very, very simple. Convince them to come towards us. All right, uh, can you hit that one? See, what's your percentage odds of hitting them at that range? 34%? That might work. You can get the shot off, or you just hit the wall, whatever. And maybe run back a bit. Get some distance, get some distance. Yeah, if they get too close, they'll get a shot off. We need to keep moving. What's our speed? 5. Point, wait, our feed's 5.52, they get 
Oh, it's snow. The snow is slowing us down. We used to be faster. Okay. Damn it. Well, we can't really drag them up there because that will kill us too. Oh, uh, we have so little options. I don't like it. Okay. Uh, I think we're almost at a range where we can stop and take a pot shot. Nope. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, Slim. You've done your recruitment attempt. I'm going to need you to immediately equip the charge rifle. Get to the front door. And we're going to put hope into defense. Wait. There we go. And Despy, how you doing, buddy? You're dragging them forward, dragging them forward. There, take a pot shot. Nope. Ooh. Yeah, I think... I think it's almost time to kick this into high gear. Yep, right about now would be perfect. You, power up the gun. Uh, you. Yep, turn around now. They're all distracted. Shoot. Um, you need to pop out the door. Oh, wow. Despy, that was... What, a headshot? Reactor shattered with one hit. Straight to the thorax. Oh. Okay, we're going to need you to get a bit closer and start shooting at the second one as well. You are going to die soon. Hmm. No, we can't run out there. We can't do it. Uh, you, get back in there. We actually need to close that door. Okay, done, done. Despy, are you in range? Why are you not shooting? Oh, I've turned off fire at will. How have I turned off fire at will on you? Fire away, buddy, fire away. Oh, Despy reached level 12 shooting. Uh, unfortunately. Oh, God. Ow! How did you do that? You'd already been riddled. Slim, how you doing? Left leg, charge lance. Oh, God. Your left leg almost completely gone. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, we can't release the warg just yet. We need the warg. Like, hope is the only thing that's going to help us with these pikemen. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Okay. That went pretty good. That went pretty good. We need to get them further around the corner. Uh, Slim, get back inside, buddy. Uh, Despy, you're gonna have to run, buddy. Slim, come on. I know your your one of your legs is almost completely gone, but we need you back in. Okay. So Despy starts running that way. Slim, I think you can tend yourself without medicine. Actually, that's a very problematic leg wound. That's like. Yeah, that's, that's massive. We need to make sure that you get good 10 quality on that. So, tend yourself. While you're doing that, Despy's going to run interference. He's going to drag him as far away as he possibly can. Well, drag them closer to the door, maybe? Oh, it's almost the perfect time. Okay, training-wise, you. Follow Master while drafted. Despy, keep running, buddy. Keep running. Slim's almost done. Perfect. All right. Let the juice loose. You come down here. And you open that door. We're going to open the door. The crops are going to die. But we'll at least have cover. Yep, get back. It's... Despy's still running. Charge. You need to attack the pikeman. Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Close the distance. Oh god, hope. Ow. Okay, okay. Okay, that one is badly injured. That one and that one are fine. Come on, come on, just take one of them down. If we can take one... Th oh god, hope, how you doing? Hope is six hours, six hours. Despy... Oh my god. Despy's tread. Oh my god, the legend. Okay, you melee attack that one now. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, if you can keep them both distracted. And how have you not killed one of them yet? That one is still alive. How? Uh, I think you need to get closer. Oh yeah, your leg. Oh, Hope's back on her feet. 
Go, Hope, go, Hope, go, Hope, go! Okay, you, shoot that one now. Come on, come on, come on! Okay, okay, uh, yep, 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 so long as they're distracted. Oh, okay, Hope, I... Okay, Hope is down bleeding in six hours. You are limping, you are 4.5, you are go-juiced to oblivion. Rescue Hope immediately, uh, bring her back in. We need to close the doors because what's the temperature like in here? Zero degrees. Okay, so the crops have not died yet. Okay, you get back inside. You immediately rescue Hope. And then we'll immediately tend to them. Hey, uh, Slim, once you're back in, I'm going to immediately have you prioritize cleaning this room. Needs to be done. Uh, door can stay open for just a little bit longer. And done. Perfect. You prioritize tending to Hope. That is going to be... Ooh. Yeah, we shouldn't need medicine. Shouldn't need medicine for this. You, clean the room. Hey, not in... Don't stand in that doorway, you muppet. Come on. Here you go. Okay. Okay, that was horrible, but we just about survived. It cost us 100 steel again. We're going to have to rebuild that turret. But, yeah, those... We, we need sugar online as soon as possible. Well, well, wonders never cease. An exotic trade goods ship is passing by. I am getting on top of that right now. Uh, call Accurate Import Company. Exotic Trades Good. Just uh, slim. Try not to break just yet. Cannot talk properly because of poor health. Oh. Yeah, they've got a little bit of a problem because they've been shot up recently. Let's see what you got on offer. Ooh, tasty stuff. What can we sell? Oh, you won't buy clothes. Wait, no. You will buy that. Trumbo horns, though. Trumbo horns, I know you buy them, because no one else will, you will have to. So, we need to get that in range of our uh, orbital trade beacon. Give me a minute. This is a painful decision. Now, we can sell them the Trumbo horns. It's pretty much the only thing we possess that they will buy. Uh, they would also buy statues, but we don't have the materials to craft statues, so that's unfortunate. Now, what we can buy is, well, a Psychic Insanity Lance. I pretty much have to buy that. That's that keeps us alive. If a, if a centipede shows up right now, we're in huge trouble. I don't know how we take out a centipede. But this could buy us an awful lot of time and turn the tide. It's also got two charges. Now, I would like to grab a bionic as well because uh, our main Paul and Slim, they're, they're a transhumanist. They'd really like a bionic limb of some sort and that would give them about a, a eight point mood swing getting one of these installed. But we don't have time. Well, we can't afford it right now and we don't have a medic who can install it. So we're kind of stuck. I'd also like to pick up the skip side trainer and the fire skip side trainer because both of those are really, really nice to have. But it's so far away before we're going to get to level four or five in Psy levels that, like, it's pointless. I'd also love the Luciferium. In fact, there's a lot of things there I'd love, but I think we're just going to take the Psychic Insanity Lance and sell off the four Thrombo Horns. Now, if you're worried that we're not going to have any Thrombo Horns left, that's fine. We still have three Thrombos. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, you, I want you to... Actually, Slim, you can go grab a nap. Uh, we'll grab the Insanity Lance and we'll put it right there. Why not? Uh, we'll pick up... Oh, oh, nope, nope. Outside Area 4. I want you to grab that. Actually, you can equip it for now and... Uh, well, we'll give it over to Slim. I want Slim to carry that around. I almost forgot. ABC. Always be buying components. All right, we'll pick up... Uh, an extra eight is fine. We don't need that much more. Just uh, right now, we're pretty good in components. We've got eight already, and we've got another four over there, and we've got a ship chunk over there. I'd like to keep the rest of the silver available for, well, buying steel. Lots and lots of it. More cargo pods. What the hell, Randy? Uh, I suppose you... Ooh. That should help with... Oh, yeah, and I forgot. There's actually a bunch of slag chunks over here we got to scrap up. Oh, and I immediately have to go and replace that turret, just in case something comes along. But I think those... Uh, yeah, those actual smoke leaf joints will help help Despi, especially when we imprison them. All right, Randy, what are you doing? It's... <laughs> okay, you, you said to combat supplier. Uh, I need to bring that silver actually back inside. All right, we, we managed to get to the trade console and somehow there's a marriage on. That's, um... Okay, perfect. Uh, let me Let me check the marriage thing first before I suppose we start trading. They agreed the two are now engaged at some point in the coming days or whatever, they'll have a, mar a wedding ceremony. Does that mean I can actually put you... No, ideology still forbids it. Until the marriage happens, th no sharing of beds. But don't worry, don't worry. We, we can fix that soon enough. Uh, let's try call this combat supplier and see what they've got. Well, this is mildly depressing. They don't really have anything we want. I mean, we've already got a couple of bolties. An EMP launcher would be nice, but... 
think EMP grenades are better, honestly, and outside of that, they don't really have anything we can either afford. I mean, I would like the grenadier armor, but that's three grand. Uh, the helmets are nice, but not essential. No, I'd rather save the money. Uh, they won't actually buy anything we've got, bar the two wooden visage masks, but that's okay. They, they can have those. And actually, we are going to sell them the third visage mask as well. Okay, Randy, I get it. it it's ship season, whatever. Like... <laughs> Slave ship, right. I don't know what's going on or why. Um, call Wu Wulan Partners Slave Ship. Right. Slim, why don't you get up, give them a buzz? We've got Despy over here. They are. Oh, actually, could you do us a favor, Despy, and hold that chunk while you're down here? We are still grabbing everything we can. They are loaded up to the gills with smoke leaf and a bunch of slag chunks. We now have enough steel that we can replace the gun turret. In fact, we got more than enough steel out of that. With the Between all the steel slag chunks that came down and the amount of steel we're going to get for grinding up those corpses, I think we're going to be doing quite nicely for ourselves steel-wise. What I'm learning here is we need to make lots of drugs. Like, just lots and lots of drugs to sell to these people. Pretty much everyone will buy drugs, so anytime the traders come by, we'll be able to clean out their inventories or buy the stuff we want. Uh, next thing up, though, is we've got a bunch of pawns to choose from. Incapable of Violent, no, thank you. Uh, sugar, no, that's our pawn. We're not selling them. Uh, we've got White, the Inventor. They are good at, yeah, was it Slow Learner? So just, that's a straight up no. You can't have a Slow Learner. That leaves us two interesting ones. CY, the Janitor. They're a cannibal, a kind cannibal who can do construction, crafting, and artistic. They don't have any health. Oh, they do actually have a health condition. However, I was thinking more about Tranlan. Tran Tranlan, whatever. They're male, 20. Uh, we could probably hook them up with Sugar. Uh, same time, they're tough, industrious, though they are ugly. Uh, unfortunate, but they're really good medical, social, animals, plants, and no health conditions. So I think we buy these, and we then convert them over to our side. That'll give us four people, which is a lot, but I think we've got just enough steel that we can hopefully replace the gun turret, build an extra room, and build maybe one or two more hydroponics. Maybe. Actually, maybe one hydroponics, not two, but... That means we should be able to provide ourselves enough food to keep us going if we get this slave. Worst case scenario, well, sacrifice is, is always the thing out on the rim. Okay, where are you going to come down? Uh, perfect. Okay, wearing thrombofur parka normal. That that actually might be an idea. Actually, how much thrombofur do we have? Uh, I have been making more, like these parkas are amazing, namely because they give so much cold protection, one of them is pretty much enough. 68C protection from a thrombo for parka. Good job, you're gonna need it because you're instantly gonna get hypothermia out there, it's minus 50 and you are completely naked. All right, I think Fat Man Slim has reached 12 on social. Nicely done, that means you should be able to convert them even faster. That's 3.2, let's see what you can do. Eh, uh, 1.1, was that it? Ugh, damn it. Hey, Shannon, you're our newest slave, and I'm thinking we're probably going to imprison you pretty much immediately, and I think the prison is going to be right here beside Sugar's. Or we could imprison them in the same room as Sugar. Hmm, don't want to risk that. If I put them in the same room as Sugar, we might end up with problems. This here will be our newest room slash prison cell, and we can install the silver bed right there. See, now that I think about it, I probably should have... Actually, where's the roof? Guys, why are you not doing the roof? Oh, feeding fine meal to sugar. All right, we'll finish this off, and then we'll imprison Tranlan before they do something stupid. Well, now that we've got them in here, let's see how much conversion we can do with them. It would be nice to know exactly how much it takes. 75? Okay, we took out almost 25% of their certainty. I was going to box them in here, and then, like, then convert the religion? I don't think we need to do that at all with them. I got about four attempts, and they should be converted over to our religion, and then the resistance is 19. Pretty tough, but that's fine. We can we can grind up our social with them pretty quick. In fact, I'd like to get Sugar converted now, because once we get Sugar converted, I'd like to get her on wardening duty with Tranlan, so that they get to all friendly, and then we can hopefully turn them into a couple, and then we can, you know, dump them into a double bed, which saves us a bunch of resources. Anyway, uh, we need more steel. The reason we need more steel is so that we can make more hydroponics, and the reason we need more hydroponics is so we can make more food. Supporting four people out here is going to be a struggle unless we can keep these hydroponics humming. Looks like some yaks have decided to join us. E e they almost got shut up by the mechs, but they've decided to wander. Hopefully they'll wander down to the sleeping spots we've made for them. 
Oh, there's bodies everywhere. I should really go and clean up those corpses at some point. They're adding to our wealth. Okay, I feel like Randy's just toying with me now. Um, right, we've got more combat suppliers, and we don't have anything to trade with them. I just want to be able to sell the clothes. Come on. Now, personally, I would have liked a sniper rifle, which would give us some more options. And there is a good one here for 916, but we can't buy it because we can't sell them any of our clothes. But I have noticed they sell tail caps. So that means they should buy tail caps. I'm wondering if we should start building tail caps because weapons producers will also buy them off us. And I wonder what bulk goods traders do as well. Like, I mean, if we're taking, we're making stuff into clothing, why not just make it into clothing that will sell to more traders? That might be an idea. Anyway, nothing much we can do here. We just don't have the money to buy anything, and the only thing we really want anyway would be that sniper rifle or the minigun. Both of those would be good, but they are uh, well, without our, well beyond our price range. And now a quest has shown up. Seriously, we, we haven't even had time to cook a meal. I think this is because, like, between the slave ship and the axe joining, I went and grabbed dinner, so maybe I turned off the game and on again. Maybe that did something. I, just, I, I don't know. Ancient complex said to contain ancient treasure. You can break in to collect the loot. Be warned, these kind of structures can contain a variety of threats. Right. Um, no. And I also need to accept a bunch of these. Hmm. Available. Ah, here it is. The old complex. We should really go and do that one. I also have to accept this one. No. no. We need more people. We need more hydroponics. Once we're stable and we can stably support four people, we can start getting uh, a little bit more ambitious. Oh, I let the battery storage get a little low there before I turned off the sun lamp. Let's hope it doesn't redline. If it does actually flatten it, we're going to lose a bunch of stuff. We can't turn off the heaters because we sort of need those. I can turn off the cooker, though. That can go off. Mm. Eh, we'll, we'll figure something out in a minute. Or not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think this is our final recruitment attempt. We have a new colonist. New recruit sugar has joined the team. Uh, this can be four colonists now. Excellent. Now, I think one of the first things we're going to get you to do is we're going to put you into wardening. Low level thing, but we're going to want you as a warden for this one so that the two of you can hopefully hook up. If we can pair people off, it'll just make running the colony that much easier. Well, Sugar's going to need a new name if they're staying with the colony long term, so please welcome Gus to the team. Okay, Gus, actually, just so that we can remember that that was originally Sugar. Well, Gus, your job for now will be to, well... Get your training up in shooting. We need to have you a few levels higher, otherwise you're not going to be much use in combat. And we need everyone to be combat ready as soon as possible. And I think we're about to have a new convert to our religion as well. There we go. Tranon has joined. Nice. And in that case, it's time to switch them over to recruitment. This might take a little longer. They've got 19 resistance. But once we get them on board, I think we're going to be well sorted. Uh, hmm. The thing is, do we imprison Despy now and try and convert him? I'm curious how long it'll take us to convert Despy. The thing is, if we do imprison him, it'll make him a little bit angry for a while. But being able to sleep in the same bed as Slim might actually help in our favour. Give me a minute. We have managed to produce another thrombo for Parka. And some people were suggesting we make dusters, but dusters just cannot provide this sort of cold insulation. Maybe if you can make masterwork ones, they'd be good enough. But at this level, no. If we get a good Parka, it's, you know gonna protect us from just about everything. We can wear any other pieces of clothing we want on top of that and we should be grand. But that gives everyone, actually, uh, even the prisoner? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they nicked one when they joined us. Yep, Trumbo for Parka and Gus can grab one now in a minute as well. Perfect! That means everyone's protected from the, well, when it gets to minus 60 during the winter time, they'll still be perfectly fine. We have also managed to get a load of milk out of this yak before it goes into starvation territory. I have no intention of trying to keep it alive. Uh, I don't think we've got enough human corpses left to do that with. Uh, the f milk will have to turn into a meal. Time for us to try something a little bit stupid and hope it doesn't go horribly wrong. We are going to arrest Despy. Um. Come on. Perfect. Then we're going to go to the prisoner and we are going to... Nope, nope. Convert. There we go. Perfection. Now, well, once they wake up, we can actually get a conversion on. And uh, they do really like each other already, should, so this should make it a little bit easier. Uh, okay, 74 to 66. We're not having nearly as much luck this time around, possibly because we already have a few. Oh, also the fate they've got is a little bit resistant. That's 
Fine, we can work it down. It'll just take a little bit more time. We might even get Gus in on this so that they can uh, develop a little bit of rapport with Despi. That way they're less likely to kill each other. Oh, God damn it, Randy. Another combat supplier showed up and I was like, why? Why are they doing this? And then I saw that a mechanite cluster had showed up and then I realized why. Uh, right. What do we got here? EMI Dynamo. Oh, come on. We can't take an EMI Dynamo. Can we? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, let me think, let me think. You know what? There's only two pikemen. That's it, two pikemen and a whole bunch of turrets. We have a smoke launcher. So, using the smoke launcher, we can basically neutralize all the turrets, and they're the big threat. So, so long as we neutralize them, what's the radius? Yeah, okay, so we get to there, we smoke it up, charge in, and we take out the pikemen in close combat. Then that other pikeman, actually, what's the cover rating on this thing? This thing has a cover effectiveness of 50%. Yeah, but we'll be smoked up. Well, so will they. So oh, we'd have to leave Hope behind and we'd need to let Despi out. We need to release Despi to get this done right. Give me a minute. Okay, we got everyone together. They're in a pretty good mood. Despi's a little bit miffed because we imprisoned him for a bit, but they'll get over it. Now, the rest of you, I want you all to come up here and, yep, that is... We want to go right about there, let's say. Hmm. Let me think for a second. I think actually this angle might be better. We want to make sure that everything's smoked up. Okay, right there should be perfect. Another thing we could do is bring a lot of uh, close combat stuff, but I don't want to do that. Say so you go there. Yeah, that should be perfect. And you could go... Hmm. I almost feel like I should spread these guys out a bit. Right there should be fine. Smoke it up. Now, the reason I'm not smoking the turrets, and I'm smoking here instead, is because, well, this makes sure that anyone shooting at us has to shoot through the smoke, and, well, it's the same for us. For example, if we want to shoot that pikeman, uh, we get a 2.9% chance because of the smoke. Makes things much harder. And this should also, ma also make things a little bit more interesting. Uh, actually... Yeah, let's show it right on top of them. I think this is going to make them a little bit angry, though, when we fire. Ooh. Missed by a bit. Still got something. There. Hit that pikeman again. And they're going to start shooting at us. But the accuracy on everyone is going to suck. That was kind of good. Now, you. Can you hit that pikeman over there? Excellent. You, I'm going to need you to start smoking up closer. If we can smoke, say, there... Batman can get up close. Well, Slim. Whatever you want to call him. Oh, God, that was a terrible shot. Come on, fire the smoke. Oh, that's an awkward one. Hey, uh, Slim. Try and make it. If you could get to there, actually, that would be great. That looks like cover. Um, Actually, yeah, charge. Why not? A lot of you. Get up there. You. Oof. We missed by a bit. We'll go there. So I need to throw here. I don't want to take out that. That's very valuable to us. Actually, in that case, we'll put it right there, I suppose. I'm not sure exactly which tile that thing is on. That should be good enough. Uh, you. You need to smoke us up. Go for it. Oh, you. Focus fire. Ow. Okay. Slim, how you doing? Okay, right leg. People don't like your legs, I get it. That should hit him again. Ooh. Exit. That's taken down their data processing and their manipulation. It should make it harder for them to hit us. Oh. Done. Okay. Well, in that case, you need to go. Uh, okay, that's that done. Uh, you need to start grenadiering that. Uh, say right there. No, don't, don't shoot the auto turret when we're standing beside it, considering it can explode. Ah. <sighs> Okay, okay. Uh, 
you guys are hitting that thing. That's good. Then, no, I say we step back a bit, grenade this, then worry about that. If we can grenade this into oblivion, that leaves us free. That thing can't shoot through there. Yeah, I say we fall back. And right about there is good. Are you going to fire? Perfect. Okay, now you can stand there and you can grenade. Come on. Hey, you going to move, Gus? Come on, Gus. Ain't got all day, buddy. Perfect. Then you hit Slim again. Slim takes out the turret. Perfect. And then we go in here and take care of the last one. And we're going to get ourselves an entire unstable power cell for 400 watts of power. How are we doing back here actually on power? We're looking good, plants are growing, battery supplies are running low. I'll take care of that in a minute. But yeah, the rest of this is just mop up. This should only take a minute. Well, that went perfectly well. And we now got 60 more steel and we got seven more slag chunks and two more corpses. And we're going to be able to claim an unstable power cell to plug into our grid. Though I'm going to want to seal that behind a wall. The problem with those things is if someone goes on a rampage and decides to punch it, well, you end up with a massive explosion inside your base, like that massive. So you really need to be careful with those. I wall them in because they don't need any maintenance and it makes great baseline power. Now, let me think for a minute about where we're going to put all this stuff. All right. What the hell, Randy? <laughs> a defoliator ship. Come on. Seriously? Oh, I am noticing that our points from wealth are almost twice our points from pawns. Yeah, we, we really need to get everyone else recruited. Right. So we, we've got a defoliator ship over here with... Four scythers. Dear, uh. Well, at least we don't have to worry about it defoliating anything. I suppose we can just leave it there and worry about it later. Uh, for now, I've decided to make a few changes around here. Namely, we need more hydroponics. And to get more hydroponics in, I think we move the research lab out. We can move. The, we can actually move these. They patched that at some point. We completely blanked it. So if we put that there. Hmm. Let me think for a second. We are just getting ready to harvest our crop of rice, and I think we're going to store that in a second, another hydroponics basin. That'll bring us up to four, but honestly, we're going to need a couple more. And I'm going to have to start squeezing people around in rooms. I've decided not to re-imprison Despy and try and convert them. The problem is, it's just taking too long, and we kind of desperately need them right now. We need all, everyone on board, and I figure once we've converted Tranlin, we'll have three people of the same religion, at which point we can get a religious leader, and a religious leader can help convert Despy the last of the way. It's just keeping everyone happy and stable right now is good, but having enough food to keep us alive is better. We're down to like two thrombos here and... Okay, there's a lot of meat. We, we have a lot of meat, so we'll be fine for a while. But I have to cut the meat with the veggies, otherwise we end up with problems. Anyway, Slim, what I need you to do is start working on that hydroponics. And Gus, what are you doing? Don't... Those crops are finished, so shouldn't you be harvesting them? You know what? Clean this room. And clean that room and then go harvest some crops if you wouldn't mind. I think they were just at that point where they were just about ready to be harvested, but a little bit off. Hey, done, done, and you are set to rice already. Perfect. This might actually work. Why are you powered off? What are you connected to? All right, with that done, there is one thing I want to do. I want to deconstruct this wall tile for a second and install that right there. That is the unstable power cell we nicked from the mechs which is perfection. Uh, actually, haul that out of there if you wouldn't mind as well, and then immediately build that tile. Uh, there you go. Perfect. Now that's sealed in there, and that is connected to our power grid. That should give us an extra 400 watts of base load power, which is exactly what we need. Excellent. Then uh, after that, I think it's time to cook up some fine meals with all of our meat and veggies that we've got going on. Actually, we don't have a lot. We've only got 69 rice, though I kind of want to I really like if Despy and Fat Man Slim could share a bed. It would really make things simpler. One thing I completely blanked, we actually have this fiesta we can do. Uh, well, our quality is not going to be amazing, but whatever, we'll give it a shot. Why not? Hey, anything that can give us more ideology points. Actually, I'm not even sure if this one gives us ideology points. You know what? Who cares? A festival's a festival. Everyone can have a bit of fun and maybe get a little bit of a mood boost. Uh, the speech is over and the party is beginning. And Slim, your social is actually pretty damn good. When the time comes, though, I want you to become our priest. I think they'd be better as a priest than a leader and we'll probably get... No, not Gus. Despy, maybe? Oh, wait, not Despy. Tradlin! Tradlin can become the leader at some point, namely because they've actually got half-decent social. Oh, we got a boring festival. That's, um... 
Yep. Well, due to the quality of the ritual, your development points have increased by plus one. Okay, we got a development point out of it. You know what? I'm okay. Even if everyone's going to be a little bit negative after that one. Where is it? Boring festival. Minus one for six days. Easy peasy. We can handle that. No problem. Hey, a group of travelers from the Teen Coalition are passing by. Uh, don't pass too close by some of the things that are around here or you will be dead. Now, we have a big bunch of silver down here, but I haven't dug it up. The reason being, I'm worried what it'll do to our wealth. Oh, a group of travelers from the Cribber tribe are passing through. And they're gonna die, like, just instantly. I'm not even sure you guys are gonna get anything off. Yeah, there, there's like a laser turret that's gonna shoot, shred you. Yeah. I don't- you, you got off one hit on the guy. Ouch. Oof. Yeah, that's going to be a hard nut to crack. We're going to need at least four people minimum, and even then, they totally outrange us. Oh, please don't go. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. I think we're going to have to start dealing with that now. That's problematic. Okay, we'll keep everyone inside for now, and I'll keep an eye on it and see if they change their mind. They should boomerang back to the smoke launcher, the smoke spear, though. Yeah, yeah, they changed their mind. They've got a... They're basically roped to the smoke spear, so long as it's alive, they won't stray too far. Both a blessing and a curse, in a way. All right, how are you four, three doing? Yep, just wandering through. Any hypothermia on you guys? Nah, you're all grand. Ah, I understand why people hate Zist events. They are very, very frustrating. Okay, I want you to prioritize extinguishing that fire. You are also going to need to prioritize extinguish that fire. Um, yeah, I need you both on that as soon as possible. And let me check the work. Yep, you're all set to extinguish fires as best as you possibly can. Go for it. Uh, I need to turn off some stuff, don't I? You should be turned off just in case. Anything else drawing? Oh, low, low wind power right now. Thanks, Randy. Uh, is there anything else we can get rid of? Yeah, you're off. We need to keep the power going to the hydroponics or the rice will start to die. We disabled the heater here, we disabled the comms console, we disabled pretty much everything that could potentially draw power, so hopefully, yeah, the hydroponics are on, and the two heaters in here are on. That should keep us going. The only thing that's keeping this stable is the unstable power cell. Flak armor has been finally completed. That's, ah, that's great news, actually. We can finally make some flak armor. Unfortunately, we, we don't have the material for it yet, but that's fine. Now, the next research... Uh, I wasn't sure exactly what to go for, but someone pointed out something interesting. Tree sowing. Now, I also would like psychoid, bu psychoid brewing. What's that, brewing? Uh, psychoid brewing would be nice for psychite tea, and tree sowing would be interesting. There's some things we could do with that, but I think we'll start with psychoid brewing because that is actually relatively cheap at 500. Tree sowing, it costs a thousand. But yeah, psychoid for now. Later on, we'll get into the trees. Oh well, would you look at that? It's uh, more of those super duper uber rare thrombos that never show up ever. <laughs> what is it with ice sheet and thrombos? Okay, well, we have been here for 112 days, but still, that seems like a lot of thrombos. Well, but welcome, guys. Uh, no, it seems you're not hostile with the mechs by default, or are you? No, you're not. Eh, fine. Let's uh, get a team together and kill them. We could probably do this a bit faster if we get multiple people on top of it. Gus, what you doing? No, Gus. You're an undergrounder. You're not supposed to want to go outside. I really need to be more careful about the power. I keep accidentally messing up, but it's fine. It's fine. We managed to get the harvest in. Like, the power went just as the harvest was started, so eh, I'll just let the batteries recharge a bit before I get back into this. Christ, I really need to be more careful. Okay, in that case, uh, Despy, you've got the charge rifle. Slim, you've got a bolty. Uh, let's go out and make a mess of these thrombos, shall we? Uh, they might not be far enough away, but... We're going to risk it. We're, we've been doing this for a while. We'll probably be fine. Uh, I think Despy can probably go on the inside. Slim can go on the outside. Yeah, yeah, that should work fine. Uh, so you go there. Despy, you go there. Then what we can do is trigger them. Right about there. Despy, you hit him. Oh. Come on, Slim. Good shot. Thrumble Revenge. Okay, the other one is not angry. Perfect. Actually, I'm curious. What if the smoke... I don't think the smoke is affecting us, is it? Yeah, weapon, target size. Yep, yep, yep. Grant, grant. So we're good on that front. You, are you able to get a shot off? There we go. 5.5. Okay, one more volley from both of you. 
That's you done. Get back inside. Despy, that's you done. Get back inside. Come on. Uh, door will close. Perfect. And Slim, you might want to get back there. Namely because you're the best repairer. And then we'll just repeat this until it goes down. We got a new thrombo for the fridge. All, all well and good. And then after we got a new thrombo for the fridge, we got a raid. Yeah, our wealth is out of control. Um, I don't really know what to do, but I'd like to sell off all this stuff. We just can't get a bulk goods trader. We got loads at the start, and now we've got loads of weapons, loads of sales, loads of exotics, but no bulk goods traders. Anyway, I'll, I'll stop complaining about that, and instead I'll start complaining about... We have six humans over here who are going to attack us. We have six humans over here who are going to attack us. And we are going to have six humans from over here who are going to attack us. That's 18 humans. We have three humans and a genetically engineered wolf-type creature. I, I kept referring them to as a type of boar. It turns out they're actually based on a wolf. Okay, you live and you learn. Uh, well, we may live. Um, okay, I'm thinking, yeah, that's that's too many people. Even if they are tribals and, and pretty much weak sauce. So I say we call in some help. Yeah, uh, you guys. You guys can help out. Uh, that should activate them. Then, Slim, you got a gun? Good. Uh, have gun, we'll shoot. We're going to get you to go up there. And we're going to get you to shoot that thrombo. You're going to enrage the thrombo and run away. Right? So, mechanoids have woken up. That's excellent. Hopefully they go attacking. Okay, Slim. Uh, actually, no, don't leave the door open. We need you to get closer to the thrombo. Close enough to get a shot off. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Thrombo, you're about to become our savior, hopefully. Now, don't miss, don't miss. God damn it. Okay. Don't run, don't run. Don't run too far. I need you to stay in range. Oh, the further you run, the harder this makes it. Oh, come on, serious. <laughs> Sorry, Slim. Gotta risk it. I did not want to risk this. Okay, you are... You're juiced. You're juiced, buddy. Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. You're gonna have to, like, stay out here... ...until that thrombo gets angry. God damn it, thrombo. Like, normally, I look at you guys wrong, and you start trying to kill me. And today, it's like, no, 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 no. We're fine. Come on, seriously? You, you. There we go. It only took... <clears throat> oh, mother... <laughs> right, you need to turn on immediately. We need to attract their attention. Uh, Gus, you need to get up. Despy, you need to get up. You two need to get to the front door. Uh, Slim. Lag it! <laughs> like, just just start running like your life depends on it. Because it does. Uh, these scythers have messed up two of them, three of them, and then retreated. That's fine, that's fine. That means if one more of those goes, they'll probably break. Oh, please don't kill the wind turbine. Please don't kill the wind turbine. All right. Stop it, you asshat! Well, okay, we've lost a wind turbine. Do we have enough to replace it? Yes, yes, we do. We can replace one wind turbine. Replacing two might be trickier. You go to there. You go to there. Uh, training on the warg. We'll leave that for a minute. Slim's not close enough yet. How's the thrombo doing? The thrombo is having funsies. That is exactly what we wanted. Oh. Annoying problem. They're behind the sandbags we made. Well, that's awkward. You are melee attacking steel minigun turret. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's going to go down in a minute, but hopefully we can kill a few more of them before that happens. Slim, keep running. Okay, that guy there. Okay, you know what? Open the door. Okay, Despy, I'm going to have you go there. We are going to... 
Income, it's fine. Hope in defense position. Despy, get back here. Gus, I am going to need you to equip the thrombo horn. Actually, what's your melee skill? Oh my god, your melee skill is terrible. In fact, we'll just have Gus go there. Come on, come on, everyone inside. Slim is on the way. God! You may lose two wind turbines. That we can maybe afford? Okay. Where are you going? You're a melee attacking Gus. That's not going to work out well for you. Oh, ho, 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 yes. All right, all right. Um, right, you're vandals. That's what you are. You're, you're freaking vandals. All right, uh, no, we got to go ag aggressive. We can't afford to lose three wind turbines. Uh, training. We are, need you follow Master while drafted. How is the Thrombo doing? Thrombo is yeah, still having wonderful playtime fun. You guys still out of the way. That means we just got to deal with the remaining ones. How many we got here? We have seven, but one is down. So we got six to deal with. None of them have injuries. And uh, they are reasonably spread out. And we are pretty badass. So everyone get it together. Over there now. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, you. We want you to send them on the attack. You three. Focus fire on that one. It, are you? What are you doing? You're like, whatever. Uh, damn it, they're taking a bead on us. In that case, go there, go there, and go there. Okay, tribes people from the kinship. One of them have broken. Uh, that guy, I think. Okay, you. Psychic insanity lance time. Uh, that one. I know that's a waste. Perfect. Uh, you. Get that one. Gus, what are you doing? Well, you can't. You're so close combat, you can't not. Slim, what's your melee? Your melee is five. Your melee is absolutely pathetic, so pull back a little bit. Okay. There goes another wind turbine, you... Make sure none of them escape. Wait, what the hell? That guy's not... He's still attacking. All right, Gus, get back into position. You start shooting that guy. That guy's doing what? He's going to try and, like, break out the back door or something, right? Um... Mm, big at 21 hours. Gus, get to there. Maybe you can shoot him. Okay, done. F Are you kidding me? <laughs> He's, she's over here is like, I'm going to run inside and start fires. Even though it's time to run away. Mm. Fine, fine, fine. We will have to take care of that. You are melee attacking blue. That's perfect. You'll chase him down and we can go take care of the person inside. Yeah, everyone inside, please. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, everyone. No, the lot of you. Come on. There you go. Perfect. Now get into position behind the bed. Okay, done, done, done. Oh. Where's the thrombo? Where's the thrombo? Okay, okay. Okay, for a second there, I was kind of worried. Okay, Thrombo's, Thrombo's leaving. That's fine. Uh, Despy, get over there immediately. Gus, how are you doing? You have... Oh my god, you have too many injuries. We need to start repairing you. Uh, you are high on Gojuice, and your left middle finger is cut off. That is unfortunate. That will affect your dexterity, which is going to mess with your cooking. Oh, hopefully you won't be giving food, food poisoning from now on. Uh, we need to drag that person out of the doorway, otherwise they're going to jam it open, and that will kill other crops eventually from the cold getting in. Oh, give me a minute to clean up this- oh, whoa, 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 bleeding out in 13 hours, bleeding out in 10. Okay, so insane, oh guy. Uh, I think I'm going to have to turn off that lamp shortly as well. You know what? You know what? I'll do all this on the side. There's going to be a huge mess. We're going to still have to deal with that thrombo which is left over, but I figure it's already bleeding out in 6 hours and it's moving at a 2.26 speed. That was a nightmare. Uh, we need some more wealth disposal. And we need to capture a couple of the ones that are still alive. 
And we need to turn them into sacrifices that will help our mood and make me feel better about this. Anyway, I am going to cut this out here. Next episode, it'll be expanding the hydroponics, uh, increasing our offensive capacity, because if we got to face 18 humans, we need some sort of kill box, but we don't have the resources for that. Also got to replace... Uh, we're going to be basically burning all of our steel, replacing those wind turbines. Oh, that was a mess. I'd love to wall this in, but we literally need a bulk goods trader to come along to give us enough stone in one sitting to do it. Mm, yep. Next episode. Next episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed this torturous episode, and uh, good luck. Good <laughs> luck.